Spatial audio is here, and it's like Christmas morning to me, except possibly even much more exciting. It seems like a teeny tiny thing, but I feel that it's so, so, so huge, and I am so excited about this, I just can't wait to tell you about it. So Apple quietly released an update to their AirPods Pro firmware, only the AirPods Pro, the other day, and it enabled what's called spatial audio. Not a big deal, not a whole lot of people talking about it. In fact, when I went to go buy my AirPods Pro recently, the only reason that I even bought them was because when I run the traditional EarPods, which I've had for years and years, they always just fall out of my ears. They've never ever stayed, so I just thought they'll fit better. Everything else was a bonus. I have plenty of good headphones for my music listening and studio speakers, so I really didn't need audiophile quality headphones. I just wanted something that I could run with. That's why I got them. I didn't even know that spatial audio was coming when I got them. I didn't even know what it was. And if I did know, I would have been way, way, way more excited about it. This update, which is just now quietly rolled out, it'll automatically update if you have them. If you just leave your headphones charging overnight, they should be basically updated to the latest firmware whenever they're plugged into your computer at any point. What it allows you to do is to basically experience 5.1 surround sound in your headphones. This is literally a moment that I have been dreaming of for my entire life. Since I was 11 years old with headphones on all day, you know, what does every DJ want to do? What does every mix engineer want to do? You want to be able to experience sound. You want to be able to see and touch and feel like you're in an immersive sonic environment. Every time I mix records for pop or for clients, I'm always trying to create a world of sound and position sounds within that world. Well, now you can actually try this new feature if you watch. It's only on Apple TV, and I believe it's on um, Disney Plus at the moment. So any movie that was recorded in 5.1 Dolby Digital or even 7.1 Surround Sound, you can now experience on your AirPods Pro in this way. And how is it different than stereo? Well, normally when you have your headphones in, if you turn your head, the sound that's in the right and left ear, it just follows you. It just goes wherever you go. Look up, look down. But spatial audio puts things in an imaginary space around your head. So the dialogue channel in 5.1 is the center speaker. So if I turn my head with spatial audio, the dialogue stays over there. You really get this effect. It's outstanding. So if there's a shaker behind you and dialogue in front of you, you turn your head, you can perceive that dialogue as being below you, above you, to the left of you. It doesn't change in your physical environment, aka 3D for sound. This is as huge of a breakthrough as IMAX 3D is when you're considering a regular two-dimensional film versus IMAX 3D, like Avatar for the first time. It's that big of a deal for audio people. Some audio people have been pushing for 5.1 for quite some time. Even BT released an album called This Binary Universe, you know, well over 10, maybe even 15 years ago, where he mixed it in 5.1 surround because that is what a lot of serious audio people want to kind of see from the medium. We've been listening to stereo and mono for so long. Well, I hope that the widespread adoption of these little guys is going to make 5.1 surround sound the new default for audio mixing. I cannot tell you how excited I am to be able to mix something in 5.1 surround sound and have people be able to experience that in their headphones. That's a dream come true for me, a literal dream come true. So we're just scratching the surface. If you try it with Disney Plus or movies, you will get an outstanding view. I have a young daughter, so watching Moana or uh, Frozen, you wouldn't believe how good these things sound because the people at Disney are just insane with their level of audio mixing. So check it out there, but I'm just praying that this becomes a kind of new audio default in the next few years, that we can be ahead of this. How cool would it be if instead of stereo, our default mix on Apple Music, on Spotify, even on YouTube videos, becomes 5.1 surround sound, and now people can experience that in their head. The sound, it's high fidelity to the next level. So this is a quiet update. Not a lot of people are going to be talking about this. Certainly not a lot of people are going to be thinking about it. A lot of people are going to be asking why, what does it even matter? But if you experience this for yourself and you consider yourself an audio nerd or a music lover or a mix engineer or a DJ, it would be impossible not to feel that this is absolutely massive. So imagine my surprise when I wake up one morning and there's a little demo that says, oh, would you like to try a little spatial audio test? I try it and 
My head is just exploding from this at all of the possibilities. I'm so jazzed. I'm so excited. I cannot wait for surround sound to be a mainstream thing. And I cannot wait to see what some of my favorite producers and mix engineers start doing with this format. We're in a new era of sound. It's going to be insane. So, you know, honestly, if you don't have AirPods Pro, I would say that it's worth it to upgrade just to experience this because in time, have no doubt about it, it's going to be on bigger Sennheisers. It's going to be on other types of headphones. This is just the first. I pray that this is the time the wave finally catches on. So super, super exciting stuff. Surround sound is here and I can't wait.